Welcome to the Science Gallery where we're here for the finals of the Irish Lake of the Imagine Cup 2009. We're down to the final three where the host Trinity College Dublin will take on two teams from Sligo IT for the right to represent Ireland in Egypt this summer. The finalists took part in a photo call ahead of making presentations to decide who would go to the World Finals in Cairo. Um, the objective is to see how these students use Microsoft technologies and how they apply Microsoft technologies to the AGU and Millennium Development Goals and we've been really impressed with the project. Yeah, the judges um, were fair. Um, came up, highlighted a good few uh, problems that we haven't looked at, but if we get to Egypt, we definitely will take everything they said. When we get to Egypt, we're going to take it all on board. Well, first of all, but overall, I thought the judges were, you know, they were good people to talk to. They asked, they asked solid questions, important questions, and I think overall the whole thing went. Exactly we actually well. got a lot of feedback already. People have contacted us saying that they would love to speak, speak more about the project and maybe get involved with partnerships and stuff like that. Moved. The surgeon goes in. Yeah, yeah, Trinity Science is a small group of us who are trying to create a surgical simulator for cataract surgery um, in partnership with Right to Sight in order to reduce the cost of training, reduce the cost and increase the speed of training in surgeons in Africa and in Two handed controllers in the set at the same time. So, what I was trying to do is. I think this is a really critical issue. I mean, you saw me talk about the blindness and the, the, the need for more surgeons in Africa. Um, our, our game is going to is going to get more surgeons on the ground. Um, and I think I got that across. I think the I think the judges responded well to that. And I mean, they, they came over earlier on and they, they had a look at the game working. And I think it's quite a fun, addictive game to play. And I know we know that um, even from our experience that um, math can be really boring for some ki uh, children, and they can find it really difficult, and they can think. What the hell am I going to use this for? So um, having a robot there and the maze, they can realize, all right, by doing subtractions or multiplications or anything that's in the curriculum, we can actually program a robot to go through a maze towards a destination point, and they'll have something fun and interactive to talk to about with their friends. As you can see from the graph here, it's a trend that's continuing, and it doesn't seem to get any better. But is Ireland really unique in this? When we looked at um, the OECD study that was done every year, Ireland was ranked third in literacy, but only 16th in maths literacy. So you can really see there is a big gap there in case um, And despite all that's going on around us, you are the very people that we're depending on. Uh, you are the ones with the talent and the skills and the expertise and the education uh, to be able to lead this country in the future. And that's largely what I would have said last year, and particularly when things are as difficult as they are, that's definitely what I'm saying to you this now, uh, for the future, because we're placing a huge store on the whole idea of the smart economy for the future. Um, and that is where investment is going to be, and that's where job opportunities are going to be. However, <laughs> off to Cairo, the Imagine Cup, um, for again a really wonderful project which will save sight uh, for so many people, Trinity Sight uh, for Trinity College Dublin. Trinity Site emerged victorious on the day and will represent Ireland in the software design competition at the finals this summer. For Villa 81 and ENN, I'm Emmett Ryan.